The idea of the confidence course is um, getting them to have new experiences, getting your dog to move in different ways, getting the dog to experience different sensations under their feet, getting them to turn in both directions. So as we saw yesterday or the day before, we find when we're doing observation, I think, we find some dogs, they can turn easily, they bend through the, the spine in one direction, but they shuffle through the spine in the other direction. So it gives us a chance to see how our dog is moving and give them a chance to actually loosen up that movement because we're asking them to do gentle turns in either direction, step over poles to see how their balance and proprioception is, is and to help them improve that. Uh, we get them to walk over things, so walk over balance boards. There's a little seesaw on the ground that they can just go over if they're happy to do it. So the key thing about it is to go around, try, try the things. If your dog refuses, they decide, no, I don't want to walk on that. Just miss it, walk past and go to the next thing. And then when you come around again, try it again and see if they'll do it the second time. Don't, I don't want to see anybody trying to force their dog to go over something that they don't want to go over, okay? This is about just listening to your dog, seeing your dog, um, how your dog responds to something, and you responding to your dog appropriately, yeah? So watch your dogs, see how they respond. If they don't want to do something, move on. There's something else to do. They'll be fine. But don't remember that it's not that's not the final say, yes? They, they may be uncomfortable about it the first time around, and they may be perfectly okay about it the second time round. So try it again. Give them some space, then come back and try it again. The other thing is that this is not heel work. It isn't about making them uh, go through it in a particular way. So you don't have to lure them through. Just let them think about it. Give them time to think about it. Time to think about where they're putting their feet. Time to think about what it is so if they want to sniff it first that's absolutely fine you know it's, it's not about going through as fast as possible and you're just trying to get them to move with you through the confidence course two points of contact on the harness if you can um, and just give them the information to show them where you'd like them to go so think about as you're doing it your own balance your own um, what you're communicating to the dog and observe the dog and see how they're responding to it. And I think that's a really critical part of this. Try setting out a confidence course with whatever you have lying around. You can use bits of guttering or pipe, garden canes, planks, flower pots, rope, whatever you can find. Have a look in your shed or garage and use your imagination. Remember to encourage turns through the body in both directions, slow movement and different surfaces. As you lead your dog, give them plenty of pauses to allow them to process information. So as you go through the labyrinth, for instance, pause on each turn. The confidence course is an excellent tool to help improve dog's balance, performance and, well, confidence. Why not try it and see? Music